Psychic Medium Karen Reese with my co-host Sarah DeFelice. We welcome you at home and our studio audience to a brand new Karen Reese show. We have a fun new format with more guests, readings, and some great prizes. Our first guest is Joshua P. Warren. You may have seen him on the Discovery Channel, TLC, and A&E, or read some of his dozen books that he's written. He's an expert in the paranormal field, and he was recently on uh, air with me and uh, Sarah on Skype, in which we had a great conversation from his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, near a famous place where UFOs may have landed. You know, it's so interesting to think about that at this particular time because I'm joining you from Las Vegas, Nevada, where I am about two hours away from Area 51, the secret <laughs> military oh, information. Remember That's that one. <laughs> and last year, I took a drive to Area 51 with this new type of device called a differential time rate meter, or DT meter, which shows you if there's some kind of an anomaly with time, if time is slowing down or speeding up, which is not supposed to happen under ordinary circumstances. And I found a spot on my way to Area 51 where time actually slowed down. And it, but I don't wanna to get too technical, but it was 25 microseconds per second, which is a very small amount, but still it's not supposed to happen. Right. Turns out that spot was one of the places where people have seen amazing UFOs, have gotten incredible UFO footage, and I didn't know that at the time. And this has reinforced for me that time anomalies seem to connect a lot of the things that we consider paranormal. Often when you see a ghost, you're seeing somebody from the past. Yep. If you see some type of a UFO, uh, how is it traversing space and time? I mean, you have that time element. People talk about seeing a cryptid, like Bigfoot, and they say, this thing just vanished. You know, the, the, the footprints just stopped the mid-pathway. It changed its point in space. And we know, again, space and time are related. And when it comes to psychic phenomena and ESP, often you're able to see things in the future or the past. And so I really believe it has something to do with a little time machine part of our brains. And it functions a little differently uh, based upon the individual and the location. And so time seems to be the one thing that ties a lot of this stuff together. That's interesting, and I would totally agree with you because of my own experience, and it makes perfect sense, and I know that you and I actually had an experience on one of the shows that we did, The Queen Mary, but I think you yeah. had a question. Yes, I was um, wondering, I understand that you have created a field of study called parasymatics, mm -hmm. and I'm very interested in knowing exactly what that is. Mm -hmm. The whole story is pretty odd because it really begins with my investigation of a haunted doll in Key West, Florida, called Robert the Haunted Doll. Ah. And uh, years ago, I, when I was investigating him, fortunately, the people who own the museum where he is kept, they took the glass off of him. He has a, sort of a glass shield around him, and that glass hasn't been removed in, I think they said, four or five years. I got to be the first person to actually shine a UV light on Robert the Haunted Doll. Mm. And when I did that, a symbol appeared on his sleeve that was only visible under UV light. And it looked kind of like a weird little distorted snowflake. Later, I started studying what scientists call cymatics, which is when you take something like a tone and you play it through water and you see the patterns that emerge. You could create tones in water that would look very much like these symbols. And that if you go and put one of these symbols in your proximity, around your area, on your wall, on your desktop, mm. on your cell phone, then sometimes you actually can expose yourself to the energy field that was placed in the intention behind that symbol. Josh P. Warren for joining us from Las Vegas. We'll have more from Joshua in upcoming shows. Still ahead, Karen will read some people in our audience, but up next, some testimony you won't believe. You won't believe.
Welcome back to the show. We have all enjoyed Sarah D. Felice here on our show for several years, but we've never talked about how we met and what my readings really revealed. So how did we meet? <laughs> I don't oh. remember. It's been a while. Well, it's been a while, you're right. Um, we met at a psychic fair. I was in need of some guidance, as we all are at certain times in our lives. And I thought I'd go to this psychic fair, and I went to it and looked around, looked at the crystals, looked at everybody who was there, and then I saw this one girl, and I said, oh, I think I'll, I think I'll go there. Didn't know, didn't pay attention, just thought, you know, this will be fun. So I sat down. I'm a, Guess who it was? Hmm. <laughs> I sat down in front of her, and um, she looked at me, and she said, um, who's Anthony? And I said, I don't know. Who is Anthony? And she says, well, he's somebody very close to you. And I said, well, yes. He's my husband. <laughs> and, and I go, I was like, I can't believe she said that. And then she says, the two of you are not only on different pages, but you're in different books which is true because I'm like in uh, Martha Stewart's cookbook and he's like the history of the Civil War. So we <laughs> are in two different books, literally. So, you know, we had a nice chat and everything and I thought, oh my goodness, this girl is really, really good. And I went back and I told some of my friends about her. And my one friend said to me, oh, I went to her. She said, and she said, she, she Halfway through the reading, she said to me, oh, by the way, you have a friend who makes soap? I mean, who says that to you, you know? <laughs> and she did. She had a friend who made soap, and she, then she told her something about the friend. And it's things like that, you know? She sees the big picture, but then she, she just gives you the, a little thing that's so, that rings so true to you that you just can't believe that she knows that. Well, aren't you glad that we're such good friends now? I knew immediately when I met Sarah that we would definitely become good friends. In fact, I never told you this, but before I met you, the day before, I started seeing your face. Really? That happens a lot. Wow. Like, I'll get a preview the day before. Well, and you know, from our own experiences, sometimes before we start the show, I'll say, we're going to have this, 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 as I oh, said earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, many times you've done Crazy that. Crazy stuff. Yeah. yeah so great. people always say to me, oh, you too, you look like you're having so much fun. Well, the truth of the matter is, we really are. We're having, we are having a blast, I mean, because we just sort of work off of each other. So we're out to dinner with these, uh, with this, uh, with these other people, and we're all sitting around the table, and she says, who's, who's Jean? Whose mother is Jean? <laughs> and I, like, choked on my shrimp. I'm like, ah, you know, that's my mother, you know? Mom she was says, visiting you. She, she says, she's having a, she says to tell you, she's having a really good time. I said, God bless her. I'm sure she is because her, my, my mother and her twin, they had a twin sister, Aunt Vicky. They used to travel all over together. They'd go to Canada to buy a quart of milk and down to Erie, PA for a dozen eggs. I never understood it, but they just like to get out. And so I, I think they're still doing that in the spiritual world. I think they are too. You better watch yourself, your mom said. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. She's behind you. I'm sure. Anyways, well, thanks, Sarah. We love having you on the show. Welcome <laughs> Readings already. Is there somebody connected to you? I think in the living, like a Ruth or a Rudy or a Rue? In the here. Yeah, in yes. the living. Yeah, that's why I'm. Is this a good friend of yours? No, she's my aunt. I just, you know, I almost said, is that Aunt Ruthie? I have an Aunt Ruthie. That's so. I almost, I just started hearing. Did you see her recently? I have not. You should give her a call. I think it's at your mother. Somebody just said, tell, yep, you need to give Aunt Ruthie a call. Were you thinking about calling your aunt? You're on TV, say yes. Yes. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She'd love to hear from you. Um, it's so funny because I saw some changes with your work life. Did you make any recent changes with your work? Yay. <laughs> Did you? Not yet. No. You got changes coming up. Do you want to make changes? Yes. You're on TV again. I'm sure you really yes. love your current place. Yes. <laughs> Just plugging you in, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Helping the, um, you got some lady luck around you too. So I just want to uh, make that a point to telling you. Are you doing management right now with work, um, or kind of quasi managing? Because I get that around you. I'm 
the top girl, let's just say. Oh yeah, so you're like in charge of, yeah, so you're doing a lot, yeah. Yes. You're getting kind of tired out though. By the way, is there a Charlie connection to you? Is it somebody you work with, a Chuck a or Charlie? Charlie? Yeah. That's my dog. Oh, okay, because <laughs> I got everybody talking behind me, dead people. Charlie's so cute, he loves you. Oh, I love him too. He likes to kiss you. <laughs> He thinks he's a person. Do you know Charlie's been your um, baby dog in many lifetimes? No. Yeah, I saw Paris around you. You want to go to Paris? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to go there. Is that on your bucket list? Uh, it is now. You're going to have a chance to go there. You can't bring Charlie with you, though. I know Paris is really good about dogs. I've been there, but, you know, it's kind of cool, though. They like to bring your dogs into, you know, department stores. Awesome. Um, anyways, your money looks good in this lifetime, your dad said. And also give Aunt Ruthie a call, but I just want to go back to Charlie. You and Charlie actually go back to Egyptian days. Wow. Yeah. And it's so funny. I keep looking at you. you got an amazing glow about you. It's called an aura. Have you ever heard of that? Yes. Um, because it's really big. When you see really extended ores, you know somebody's got a long uh, life ahead of them in different colors, you know, uh, suggest different things. So you've got a very healthy long life ahead of you. Very healthy, by the way. The name Anne yeah. comes up too. Is that a connection to your mother? Is it a middle name? Anne? San? Anne? Anne. My mom's middle name. Okay. Yeah. She's on the other side, yes? Mm -mm. Oh, she's still here because I got grandma. She said she's here. I got your mom's mom. I hate when they talk so fast. How's your mother's walking been? Because I get a little challenging with her walking and back. Uh, she's shuffling a little. That's what her mother just said, yeah. Because I get a little bit that, and as time goes on, hang on, Graham. Tell your mother a big hug and a kiss from her mom, but she's going to have to watch her footing as she as time goes on, just an FYI. Yes. And her bones look a little delicate, just so you know. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So she might want to eat more ice cream. Of course Kelsey she does. Yes. yes. Your father laughed or somebody started giggling. Anyways, um... Good things coming your way. There are some good changes ahead with your career path. So a little logistics, you know, a little bit of this and that with your career, but you'll definitely walk away or uh, walk into a different position that looks really good for you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank oh, you. Oh, one other quick thing. Is there a Ted or an Ed connection? To me? Yeah. Uh, my grandpa's name is Ed. That's what I thought he said, because I heard father connection just at the end. He said, tell her Ed or Ted, I couldn't. Yep, and he says, keep your eye on the, mo the ball. Reach for the moon, you'll land in the stars. Mm. So God bless you from Thank your crew. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's play you. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I got to get to your husband. You were hoping to talk to him, weren't you? Yep. I hate when they start talking about that. Um, and I'm hearing the name J-O. Is there a Joanne connection? Joan, Joe, Joe, Joe. No. J O J O A N. Don't all right, keep it in your future. It's like a, but it's a woman's name, like a Joan or Joanne. J O A N is what I'm seeing, so it's probably going to be that name. And I saw medical with her, so she may work in the medical field. Your husband's talking to me really fast. Are you supposed to go for a health checkup or something? No. Yes, you are. <laughs> he just said it. <laughs> you haven't gone for a health checkup in a little bit, like a full physical. I stay away from the doctor. I knew it. Me too. No, I shouldn't say that on camera. I know. He said she doesn't go to the doctor's. So at some point you, you have to go. But your lifeline looks good. Um, your husband, were you thinking about making a move too? Because there's a move around you. You didn't move after he passed, did you? We bought the house and then he died. Okay, because that's what he's talking about. It's something about making, okay, God, yep. And you're still in the house, yes? You no, moved, I mean. You moved out of that house. No, I stayed where we, where I lived before. Okay, got, oh, so you bought the house and then he passed. Okay, he's talking really fast. He said to tell you, I love you. He also, hang on, um, something about driving. You don't have issues driving, do you? No. Why am I getting issues with, have you been being driven lately? Are you being like a passenger these days? No. Okay, in your future, I'm going back there again. because He couldn't drive. Oh, this what he end. said. You gotta start. He's taught. He said something about not driving. Okay, now I get it. He's a little hard to hear. He appreciates everything that you did. He wants me to tell you now I can drive because you know on the other side you have houses and cars and things to do. Um, hang on, you're talking too fast. And he said I'm doing really well. And he also wanted me to tell you don't worry about money. He says but it's important that you take good care of your health. You did so much for him. He says I want to make sure that you stay happy and healthy. And he says I want you to go. Hang on. And he said to tell you, you've been married in multiple lifetimes. Probably when you met each other, you probably just knew he was the right one. He was always, you know, there. He's talking about a Tom, too. So he's talking about somebody named Tom. That's my first husband who also died. He's with Tom, just saying. <laughs> he says, let her know Tom's here. And I heard husband. I thought that, okay, you're hot. 
wow, you're very popular on the other side. <laughs> Your husbands both said, we think so too. By the way, they're having a good time and they said not to worry about a thing. And by the way, you've been married to Tom in many lifetimes too. You're an interesting character in your lifetimes, you know that? Tom sends his love as well. But the boys are doing well. They like to go out. They like to go on the other side, have a beer, whatever guys do. Because, you know, on the other side, you have a house and you, it's just like here, you know, you travel, you see your loved ones. Both of them said not to worry so much. You worry a little too much, your husband said to tell you. Tom says you do. Hang on, Tom. I hate when they all talk. By the way, who had the March connection? Is this a birthday for a kid? Who had a birthday or a passing or an anniversary? Tom's talking about it. Who's got the March? Who had a birthday or who passed in? Okay, keep that in mind. You'll figure it out later because Tom's saying yes, yes, yes. Hang on. Um, they're both talking. And you need to get more potassium, so eat more banana splits. Do you get leg cramps at all? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's what your other husband said, and Tom confirmed it. So you need more potassium probably. Check with your doctor. But I say have a banana split. That probably would do you better. Anyways, they both send their love, and they said not to worry about a thing. You've got great things in your future, and when you're happy, they're happy. By the way, it's kind of funny, but they really are having a good time together, <laughs> just so you know. So God bless you on that. Thank you. You're welcome. So crazy. <laughs> Next prize giveaway. We have lots of great gifts to give away. A member of our studio audience will receive a $25 gift certificate to Elaine's Flower Shop with three locations in Western New York. Go to elainesflowershop.biz for all of your flowers. Nothing says love like food. One winner picks up a $10 gift certificate to Devolio on Main Street. Check out everything they have at devolios.com. A perfect place to bring your loved one is Salvatore's Italian Gardens in the Del... Delavan Hotel and Spa or Garden Place Hotel. One lucky winner will receive a $50 certificate courtesy of Joe Salvatore at Salvatore's Hospitality. And now for the live drawing, Live with the Dead. Who will win a one on one with me for a private reading at my office? Do I okay. can read this one too? Yes, you do. Ooh. This one's yours. I should have brought those reading glasses on set. <laughs> All right, the last three, eight, two, three. Yay! Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Yay! We'll find out if you're good or bad. Congratulations! Yep. After the show, you can give uh, Alexa your name and number. Ooh, this is fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. To the world, you may be only one person, but to one person, you are the world. God bless. Uh, what really stood out stood out to you of course Charlie Charlie <laughs> yeah that she came up with that name yes yeah it's yes. pretty amazing in my work in, in my work. work yes yes that's and, right she said that you were the sort of the head of the yes the team well maybe you should ask for a, a raise now that you're on TV <laughs> oh I did <laughs> Thank you. Give her another raise, or you'll be Thank haunted. You. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's so funny because your grandpa Ed, he goes Ed, Ed, and then he just. Oh, went, oh. it was funny. Well, you know, it was funny because he said, "I love Charlie. Charlie loves her." I had no idea who he was talking about. So if Charlie ever like spaces out and kind of looks, and you're like, "Who are you looking at, Charlie?" You know that chances are it's your he loved ones on the other side. He does that at times. See? Yeah, and Ed so. seems to like whistle at him too because Grandpa Ed says, "Tell her I whistle sometimes." So Charlie, because uh. he's a dog, can hear you know, frequencies and vibrations that we can't. So it's kind of right. cool as far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. But he's so cute. I just got to tell you, I want to <laughs> smush so him. He was in here.
I love him. Yeah. And I you know, it's even why. funny because I saw him. He loves to touch you with his hands. He's yes. adorable. He loves to put his hands on you and he just loves to touch his mom, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. He's yeah. with all the time. Yeah. If he's not sweetie. licking me, he's got his hand <laughs> on me. When me and my boyfriend are driving in the car, he's got to touch both of us. <laughs> yes. I just got to tell you. Well, go ahead. So were you surprised when she mentioned, mentioned both of your husbands? No. Oh, you weren't? Oh, really? Oh, that's kind of funny, because your husband says, tell her something, I'm with Tom. And Tom said, I love you too. So it's kind of funny. You've got a big fan club on the other side. It's got to make you kind of happy. Well, there's a lot of them there. Yeah, but you still have work to do on this side. People often ask, you know, what happens if you have two husbands that, you know, are on the other side together? And I always tell people, you know, you always work it out like you would here. I always wonder myself, <laughs> even though I only have one husband. Well. <laughs> still. So it's a good question because people ask me that all the time. What happens if you've had, you know, multiple lovers? What do you yeah, do? Really? You have fun. What do you do? You have one house. <laughs> Just wondering. You're the life coach. I'll let you answer that one. <laughs>